and sit down. This free video tutorial took over 100 hours to create. YouTube judges a channel by subscribers, likes, shares, and video hours watched. We ask for all our hard work, please use those buttons and allow this video to run until the end. Thank you! This beginner doodly tutorial will show you where to obtain free commercial use music how to import that music into Doodly, how to create a secondary audio track, and how to set up an audio fade. We are using version 2.4.8 to create this video, but these instructions will work on any Doodly version. There is a severe limitation when adding audio tracks to your animation video in Doodly version 2.4.8. The music imported and added to a track sometimes is not as long for the video animation, so we need to add a secondary audio track and fade the video in or out for a smooth audio transition. This version of Doodly can only handle up to a maximum of four total audio tracks, even though it allows for the addition of more tracks. If you attempt to put more than four audio tracks into your video animation, including the voiceover track, the Doodly software has a bug that will error during rendering with three to five seconds left in the render process. We will demonstrate an easy method to get around this limitation. The required skills for successfully making it through this tutorial are basic computer skills, the ability to left click and drag and drop, computer navigation skills, finding your files to import them into Doodly. Being familiar with the Doodly user interface. If you do not possess this skill, please watch the Doodly basic tutorials before continuing. Ready to get started? Let's go! Step 1. Find your copyright free music. Rules may change at any time, so please ensure proper research is completed to see if the music discovered is still usable without limitations, regardless of the places described in this video or in the comments. A thank you shout out to Liza Brown, chief editor for the Filmora software, for creating the full audio list and putting it up on the internet for all to see and use. Visit their website in the video description for a full list of places where you can obtain no charge commercial use audio. The scrolling websites are listed in the video description with links for direct access. Now that the perfect music has been selected, let's move forward. Step 2. Importing the music files into Doodly. There are two options to import audio files into Doodly. A drag and drop option. or a computer navigation option. Either method utilized, the music files will end up at the top of the sound section. Step 3. Adding the music to the timeline audio track. Drag the audio file from the sound section and drop it onto the audio timeline. A green highlight will appear on the timeline to confirm where the audio file will be dropped. Take notice that Doodly shows a basic audio signature after the file is dropped onto the timeline. Is that audio signature longer or shorter than the animation timeline? The goal for most projects is to make the audio signature the same length as the animation timeline. If the audio signature is shorter, the audio will cut out sooner than desired. If the audio signature is longer, by default, the audio will be abruptly stopped at the end of the video animation. Step 4. Adjust the audio length. On a basic level, there are two ways to accomplish this task. If the audio file is too long, click and drag the end of the audio timeline to equal the length of the animation timeline. If the audio file is too short, add an additional audio track by clicking 
the three vertical dots on the left side of the audio track and choosing Add Track. This will create a second audio track. Now drag the same audio file from the sound section to the new audio track. Music tends to fade out naturally. Take advantage of this by overlapping the audio tracks. Clicking and holding onto the left mouse button on the audio track will allow it to be moved along the audio timeline. Adjust the music to the desired starting place and trim off any dead white space. Instead of being frustrated at the current version's software limitation of a maximum of only four audio timelines, stagger the audio so there is more than one audio file on the same timeline. Step 5. Add fade in and fade out to the audio. This feature is a must use feature. It allows overlapped audio files to not sound so abrupt or compete with each other. Right click on the audio file timeline and choose fade in and repeat that process and then choose fade out. Faded triangles will now appear on either end of the audio timeline. Click and hold your left mouse button down on the edge of these faded triangles and resize these to the desired length of the fade start or end. There, your tutorial has been completed. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. We appreciate any comments, tutorial suggestions, or other critiques you may have about one of our videos. Leave a comment below, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with other doodlers.